Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves 3 as Germany, episode number 38 or so. I had no idea that this is how we were going to spawn. A, like, inside the French port, <laughs> next to their minefields, I'm sure. We have a, a directive to sink two French ships. We know that it's not just any ships, they have to be at least 600 tons. This has been identified as a corvette immediately. In fact, when I hit load game, the first thing that it told me was unidentified ship spotted. But let's kind of reflect on the fact that the battle of whatever that battle was, I'll go back and look, and I think we will name a ship class after it, because it was pretty, I mean, it was substantial. It was quite a victory. Let's take a look at what the French fleet has left. And they do, oh my god, we, we actually sank every single one of their battleships. Um, I did, I did not realize, I did not realize the, um, extent of truth in my last title that we were actually sinking their navy, but not really, obviously they have three battleships, they have three battle cruisers. Um, I guess I should say they have three dreadnoughts and they have three battle cruisers. The battleships, these are kind of, you know, they're whatever, right? They're kind of up for retirement. Mine are up for retirement. People are complaining. I mean, not complaining. Everyone's very respectful in the comments for the most part, and that's always what I appreciate. Uh, yeah, so I mean, I read those and I try to take them to heart. Uh, yeah, but there's comments that we should update our Navy, and my goodness, I would love to. I just feel like we're kind of stuck in this war. But let's get into this battle so that we don't spend forever blabbering on. We can uh, actually get into the battle here and... Yeah, I don't have my destroyers on AI control anymore for because they always did those silly things, but I yeah, I think we're going to go with line ahead here and you'll probably need since you're lead, you need to kick it up. What's your max? Wow, what? Okay, they are all just very slow. We'll go this way, we'll go this way. You guys, I don't know, you're yeah, 29, very good. So let's get you guys up to 25 and head to the southwest just to kind of screen. So it has just become dark. What we'd like to do, ideally, is honestly exactly take out two ships and then leave. Yeah, then we may not win the battle. In fact, we probably can lose the battle and still be completely fine with it. We did just wreck their entire, well, the all of their pre-dreadnought battleships have been destroyed by us. So, like, when I say that I think it's okay if we lose a battle to, like, not sink two corvettes, I, I mean, just obviously the extent of the uh, difference in scope is enormous. Like, this is very minor. It looks like they're actually not even moving yet. Get these guys up to, let's say, 18. Um, just to kind of prattle on in the background while I'm doing the battle adjustments. I mean, when I don't have anything to say, at least... I like the idea of our, oh, we're actually, we got two different destroyer groups here. That's funny. Oh, uh, okay. That's a core, um, uh, cruisers. That's um, the good ones. Yeah. Speaking of it, this is what I was going to say. I really like these Gregor Muckenberger class. I, I mean, I know that they are not blazingly fast or anything, but they are, I feel like they are very efficient for their money, for their class, for their tonnage. In like every way, I feel like you get a lot of bang for your buck, and not just for your buck. Okay, like you get a lot of bang for your tonnage. Um, like as far as light cruisers go, maybe that's where I would walk back a little bit and say, okay, for a light cruiser, it could be better. But that's okay. Uh, we we I know that eventually the future beckons, and uh, we'll have to eventually design <laughs> more modern ships. You know, something like centerline. Double turrets. It's uh, not something I'm uh, comfortable with talking about yet, but eventually we'll get there. We have to. Would really rather the Von Mercots not be anywhere near this battle, but I guess since she's here, we, we could get pretty aggressive with these guys as well. What's your squad? Wow, we had a bunch of slow guys here. We'll take them down to 20. Okay, big question. 300 tons. We don't care. You don't even count. Sad. They might um, sally forth from the, the harbor. So there's, there's some sense in... Well, I think the biggest, the most sensible decision for us will be uh, to pull back from the harbor. 
we'll sink these ships. I think we won't do anything. Wait, is this one maybe bigger, please? Ah, oh, okay, good. We're gonna get one. Well, maybe. Sorry about the background noise. Life in the Tortuga household. Never a dull moment. So technically, if we just find one other merchant ship over here, we can sink in and go. And like, it's kind of a, you know, it's fine. Completely okay that the uh, one cruiser, or the one corvette that we didn't sink is the is the lighter one anyway. I did want to check over to the west though and see, I mean, yeah, eventually we'll probably have to set a directive from the highest levels and I'll just tell everybody that they're supposed to go west or east. You guys may not be able to hear it, but there is some action going on outside of in the background. Let's get these guys up to 16, just so they're a little bit less of a sitting duck. I don't think my battleships can go any faster, so just send them home. <laughs> oh, these, these can. These must be the later rungs. Indeed. Um, we'll get you guys down to 20, since I hope we sink this ship. Um, I, I liked it when they were in scout formation at first, just because, or screen formation, I should say. They were all kind of ganging up on this guy um, from a, from different angles. I should say the, however you pronounce this, Toshin uh was doing a very good job of, of just keeping pressure. Four of them, it's flooding. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Let's put this guy down. So he's very close to getting into the into port, which we would prefer to avoid. And, the you know, the thick of night is coming very soon. So there we go. Just get those last few shots in. Make sure she's going down. Looks like she is. We'll swing back around one more time. Oh, you have misunderstood. Okay, got it. I don't think we're going to pursue. Okay, there we go. There we go. This is the one we want. Squad max. All right, it's organized chaos. <laughs> but anyways, let's go over and get this. Find out what this is. Make sure our... Oh, these guys are still going the wrong way. I'd <clears throat> love to get to this guy. In fact, you know what? Yeah, we already are. Anybody else we can rope into this pursuit? Well, I hate to do it, but we will, because he's in the area, and he would definitely shift the balance. <laughs> I don't think we're even going to get these guys involved. I, I don't see any uh, possibility in then entering the battle before things go really dark. We're still going to pursue this one. Keep eyes on him, bring in the other ones. I'm just going to hope... Oh, looks like these guys finally decided to come to their senses. Now that it's dark and they can't see any flags, they're responding to flag orders. Comical. Uh, let's see. But then captain's mode at this point is kind of a... Yeah, maybe you shouldn't have lack of orders in captain's mode since, you know, it doesn't make sense. The captain can't not listen to his own orders. Oh, yeah, well, this is this is good. We're preparing to launch torpedoes, Captain. Oh, I didn't want to double click. I want to do this. Give her all she's got. All right. That's a that's a victory. Uh, I guess they could make it back to port. Could in theory. That would be a bummer. Well, we'll see. I, I don't think that even a Corvette is gonna <laughs> survive a torpedo long enough to make it back to port. It should be a dead ship, but we'll see. I mean, I'm preparing for the worst mentally. I'm, I'm, you know, it's quite possible that thing makes it, and you know what? It doesn't matter. Let's just go up here. Let's uh, hover by our submarine. And then we'll just begin to saunter out. We've given it our best shot. I think that that could be two ships we've sank. Maybe it's not. If not, then, well, what could we have done differently anyway? All right, this is about the time I think we'll make the executive command. Who is my... Probably you guys are my lead. Yeah. So let's set a course of something like 30 speed of cruise, except for the whole force. <clears throat> okay. That's good enough. And that's, uh, 
That's that. That's the battle. Yeah, I think the big talking point. Oh, wait. So, oh, is Von Mercatz not considered part of this group? You guys think you're special or something? All right, now you're not. Now you're just one of the others. We did our best. I mean, this does go on for day. Daytime will come. So in theory, we could have stuck around. Look at, I'm not going to sweat it. If this was, um, you know, I, I guess this would be another one where auto resolve would be nice. Just auto, let me just auto resolve this. Except for it might run my ships into a mine or something. I might also run into a mine, but I feel like the AI's chance of doing that is higher, maybe significantly higher than my own. So I'm going to just let this Come to a close whenever it decides to. Come on. Yes. Okay, we got three. Does it count? No. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so this one got hit by a torpedo. Yeah, that's the one that we, we hit. 300 tons. 300 tons. Yeah, we only get credit for one. What do they even have here? Do they have any ships? Hello? They did. That would have been fun to run into. But I suspect they ended up in port. We can check. No damage is not in port. Um, just has no log entries at all. I wonder where they were. I wouldn't have minded a fight. Oh, well, I guess we can probably see. Yeah, we're down here. Technically, by the way, I don't know if people have already seen this, but we'll just do big ships. So, so they were kind of in the vicinity. No, wait, no, they weren't. They started over here. No, yes, yes, they started way the heck over there. And they did end up making some loops around here. You can see what we did. Anyway. Okay, Glucan, I guess, uh, needs some engine overhaul. The Panama Canal <laughs> opened 1914, huh? Yeah, it is. Japan and Italy have signed an alliance. Uh, how does that affect? Okay, we're Japan's on this war. Oh my good lord, please let it end. <laughs> no, it's 60,000 to 15. <laughs> I don't think that we can even lose this at this. It would take so much for them for us to lose it. Aren't they at the point of like just uh, to complete collapse though? I mean, how long have we been blockading them? Our unrest level is at zero, two. Well, I mean, I guess this is an opportunity, first of all, for me to adjust the, there it is, the window, um, for us to look at what we're doing. We have, quote unquote, a lot of money building, a lot of money built up, but not really. So we have a really high um, balance, but not a high pool of money. For me, the point at which we'll probably want to, we'll definitely want to start spending our money is around 250, a little bit less than half of our yearly budget. Now, I mean, at this point, we're going to have to buy some ships anyway, so it's not that we need to wait for that moment, but that's the point at which I feel like you really have to start spending your money when you're getting close to halfway, because you want to spend it a little bit before that, since that's the point at which uh, you, you need your designs to be done and your ships being built when you get to the actual halfway point. Um, okay, so as far as everything else, yeah, I mean, we could actually kind of take a look at our, our, some of our ships just to comment. Um, we do have these old Volgalands. I think that these are for the scrapyard. They have, uh, they've been fun. They are now currently at 16. Ah, oh, these are actually going 16. Anything which is going, yeah, okay, sorry, these. The Absolutions, the Donner Keels, these guys are, they're, they're done. <laughs> We're not going to entertain them any longer. 
Um, let's see, what else do we have? I think we'll just go to the next one. We could auto resolve this. Vice, vice, wait, we'll, we'll, we'll lose it though. This is the Vice Baden. Oh, you know what? I was going to debate about resolving this one, but you know what? It's just not going to work out for us if we do that. By the way, I did have to cut away about a couple seconds ago for an hour or so. Oh, all right. It's not just us. I do want to talk up these guys more, though. This Gregor Muckenberg, I, I, I just, um, okay, I, sh I shouldn't repeat myself too much, but I do like it. It's cool. Even when I advance forward into modern era and we do get, you know, Double turrets. Whoa, whoa. I think we will try to keep a class that is uh, that resembles the role of this one at least. Lower tonnage, meant for blockade points, but also, I mean, as as best as we can, without so sacrificing its uh, capability. Okay, so I know that we have these lovely folks here, but I, I at the same time, I don't suppose that they're going to be like great against anybody. So our first order of business is going to be to retreat. Hey, if we can get away, we're blockading them. I mean, there's just no incentive for us to fight this battle. None. Even if we can win. It's a two on one for crying out loud. We should win, but I'm just not interested. If they pursue indefinitely, they will catch us because we are slow. <laughs> Which means, since they are, wind is out of the west. We just come back down this way. Yeah, we'll, we'll. We are going to fight them. At least we're going to scare them off, potentially. How is this going to work? This is a 6200. So basically, it's a fair fight. Our two ships are about the same tonnage as their one ship. They're rocking some pretty good armor. Three inches at the belt, one and a half at the deck. Two on the turrets. Only four six inch guns, one, two, three, four per side. So it's four six inch guns against maybe like six, five, make it ten. Eight, four. Damn. We're in the same situation, but so yeah. It's a four or five inch guns per ship versus their four six inch guns per ship. Uh, let's just hope we win the battle of attrition. Oh, that's a fortuitous start. As soon as you hit, you don't change direction. Okay, let's um, take this moment to disengage. Are they going to let, let us? No. Okay, then let's just go in. Wind is, it is moderate breeze, so we should have some advantage here. And we have landed a hit. Okay, so we're exchanging fire right now. Oof. It's not too late, perhaps. Okay, so it's too early, in fact. We're gonna ride this out, though. Okay, yeah, there we go. Uh, oh, this is a Bowden Sea, and they have the six inch. Interesting. So the great, which one's better? <laughs> well, I mean, judging by this, <laughs> the Bowden Seas. I mean, these things are good. These are only thirty two hundred. They're the older one, though, right? The Gregor Muckenberger is the later one. They, I mean, they do have good armor. I like the six inch guns though. I mean, especially if I'm hitting with them, that's great. We well, really always appreciate that. That does explain why there's, no, that doesn't explain it. Why are our six inch guns apparently the same range as our five inch guns? Five inch quality zero, six inch quality negative one. Well, that makes sense. Now I know, okay. We're just, hopefully, just using high explosive. Uh, we're not going to penetrate. Still landing those hits, though. This is good. And as soon as they're, like, showing signs of disengaging, that's... Uh, we're taking advantage of that. Getting out of here. 
They are very strange in their maneuvering. Okay. They have decided enough is enough. Great. Me too. Ah, aye, aye, we did that whole battle shifted. Oh well. Looks like we might have been able to pull this out as a as a kill. Hindsight 2020 when you have full access to this. No, I don't think so. They called this medium damage. I think that's being a little bit generous. We didn't destroy any turrets. No, we just got some hits. And I would have been a little bit worried about them. You know, I mean, basically it's the statistics game. It's a very fun, cool thing that the way this game works. I love it because I love statistics. <laughs> You know, you can do well, and then suddenly you're not doing so well. I mean, technically we're... Oh, did they only land... Oh, they were only landing some 4-inch hits. Mm, well, not much is going to be... Yeah, see, look, that 4-inch... It, it still penetrated because it hit in an area where there was no armor. Anyway, uh, this is a pretty minor battle, so we'll just jump ahead. Look at that victory. Okay, finally... Finally, what I was hoping for, the blockade's having an effect. No, not another submarine. Look, all these submarines dying is just taking care of my maintenance when the war ends. So, you know, thank you for your service, tip the hat, blah, 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 but at the same time, it is a natural course of action to allow these submarines to aggressively die for the uh, fatherland. And uh, that will eliminate the excess population of submarines. Yeah, I mean, we're overdue to design. Wow, look at that monthly balance, too. It just keeps going up. I love it. Funds are not going up. Well, I mean, they are, but... <laughs> they're nowhere near the 250,000 mark I want to design my new ships. Yeah, it's, it, we can't scrap ships. They're just so useful right now. But somebody did a good breakdown. Considering these battleships are only worth one-third the cost. Okay, they're not quite. I mean, slightly more than one-third in terms of blockade. And their uh, maintenance is, let's see if we can get a apples to apples comparison. Let's do 300 versus 500. That's uh, pretty apples to apples. Well, 300, yeah, I mean, it's, we'll call it 300 to 500, sure. Um, 300 to 500, so, you know, not, it's less than double, right? 80% more, something like that. So, the blockade point efficiency is pretty good at the dreadnoughts. Of course, the only problem is you don't get them right away, it takes years. Anyway, I mean, it was a nice breakdown. Um, comment section's always full of, such intelligent people, and I enjoy those. I, you know, it, it shouldn't be obvious that I, I like understand the math for that. Um, no, what am I trying to say? I am actually aware of that. I feel like the calculation also has to include like the math, and they mentioned this, not that I'm just trying to review it. Okay, good, Austro-Hungarian ships we can send to the bottom, please. Oh my goodness. Okay, good. They sent an armored cruiser. Well, this is kind of cool. I mean, this is crazy. We are, aren't are sending any destroyers. I mean, I saw that five, I think it was five destroyers. Oh, good. Since this is going to be a fun one, well, I mean, this is definitely one I'll run out. I hate not having destroyers, but I, I love not having destroyers. It's going to make this battle really easy to, to fight. So as soon as they give us control, which will probably happen when we spot an enemy, then we will... Use this guy as an escort, and we'll get up to 20 because that's their squad max. But they're gonna, they're definitely. The new stat here is gonna have some command issues and suddenly find itself. What the hell? This thing is from 1895. <laughs> you guys complain about me using my old ships. Look at this thing. 
Anyways, this, is, this guy's going to accidentally careen itself into the enemy line. We could be up against enemy dreadnoughts here, so uh, there's definitely room for caution. Not with the new stat, though. It's our scout, after all. We have no destroyers. It's also the mechanism of delivering fiery death to the convoys. Should we get that far? These, I mean, the turning radius in these things is, I, I have always mentioned this, it looks a bit absurd. But it looks like from the turning radius, they are destroyers and they are destroyers. Considering our battle cruisers can go a comfortable 27 knots, 20 is not really overworking them. The new stat is really pedal the metal, giving it all she got for 20. Just trying to find the convoy first. First order of business. Find and sink the convoy. That's really the only order. Have not yet found this convoy, this supposed alleged convoy. Okay. I mean, it could be further south. We, we're gonna have to split up to find out, I guess. This is really as split up as I can go. <laughs> Otherwise, we're, we're gonna miss them. We'll go, they'll go right through the middle. But this is pretty good spotting radius. I don't understand how we missed them. Convoy's not supposed to be able to move that quickly. Well, would you look at this? How do we get this spotting report? Apparently, we have aircraft, but we don't. Is this a spotting report from a submarine? Well, I was giving up, but we're doing all right. We're on the heels. Okay, there they are, hooray, move this way. You avoid this, whatever it is. Okay, so they're a little bit further, let's keep going. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're, sh I think we're spotting them now. Yeah, there they are. Drive on in. It would be interesting if the French really only had, okay, I think that's about to answer it, only had destroyers guarding it. I'm really interested in destroying their destroyers, even though it's, you know, pretty minor. This poor armored cruiser is just like, come on, man, can we take our foot off the pedal? No! Must die a noble death. I mean, um, represent your country with great honor and survive. Of course. We said nothing about you going to your death. Why kill off the enemy nations stuff like this? Well, you know, I mean, honestly, we're probably doing them a favor. In the same way we just killed off the French, whatever. And, you know, this being sunk, by the way, is going to be an enormous victory point loss for us. Let's just, like a, <coughs> excuse me, a wolf among sheep here. They won't dare launch torpedoes at their, oh, this is hilarious. <laughs> this is pretty funny. <laughs> it's gonna have these guys just not fire at all. Just wait for this noble, noble steed of mine, this Austro-Hungarian cruiser to, might as well be called the, what was that one called? The, the infamous, the, Saint George, right? Saint George? That was just an epic armored cruiser that just was just wonderful. Oh, it looks like we actually sank a destroyer. I mean, I guess despite our best efforts, we accidentally destroyed a warship. Okay, well, keep going, keep going. The guys are like, well, you know, this is interesting being an observer and all, but uh, would you mind 
Oh, see, the fact that you're not moving, well, I guess you're, do you're just doing your job. <laughs> Look at this slaughter. Oh, the slaughter. Battlecruisers are just observing the Austro-Hungarian efficiency. They are efficient, we can report. He said, might be starting to wonder why he hasn't heard the big guns going off. So it's just crazy that um, all 12 of our turrets jammed at the same time. Just just not it, completely unexpected. Oh, well, they're operational now. Oh, God, this thing... <laughs> 13-inch guns are, are landing. No, poor things. And more importantly, get that destroyer. We can go up to 20. <laughs> the new stat's almost used up all its ammunition. Oh, what are you doing? No, that's the wrong one. I want the new stat to do this turning. Yes, yes, excellent. I'm surprised this thing is still fighting. 3-inch gun, 9-inch gun, 6-inch gun. Oh, 3-inch gun. Yeah, there it goes. There she blows. Which is really cool when I... I didn't know this for a long time, but that is... What people say when they see the whale. Use its blowhole. It's cool. Have we eliminated every French ship in this convoy? Not yet. I think we are close. Get her done. Let's, let's go, Newstad. You're, you're just... You're not carrying your weight. And that's the the letter we'll send to the Austro-Hungarians. You know what? You sent this armored cruiser and we had to do all the work. Chasing down this last ship. What are you, you, What kind of garbage is this? Sending us this ship that can't even catch destroyers. All right, let's get her, let's finish it off. Okay, there it is. <laughs> Whoa, she's still going, I like it. So, uh, this guy's got spunk. Those were only three five inch shells. So yeah, that's understandable that we didn't sink her like immediately. Oh, there's another one. Any one of these, each one of them. So yeah, any one of them. Very likely to spell doom for the poor bison. Oh, good lord, we hit her with a 13-inch shell. Yeah, that's that's painful. Very painful. I think it's time to cue the taps. And then I think it's time for us to uh, saunter on home. Let's go down to cruise. And you can go down to cruise now, too. You know what? You tried your best, Newstad. You know, better luck next time. Okay. The question we're, uh, earlier was, are we going to sink every ship in the French convoy? And the answer is yes. It's just a silly, silly engagement, but kind of fun, you know? I mean, because you don't have to think about it. You don't have to worry. You just... It's like playing a game on easy, like going on to some first-person shooter on the easiest mode, and you just really are way more skilled than the uh, AI. Five destroyers, 16, I mean, this is actually going to be a, maybe a thousand, or 2,500 even. We gave them 58 victory points. Look at it, I think that this war should be over. Uh, this is, you know, it's, in fact, why don't we start putting ships, like, all these guys are going to move to Northern Europe, because I think it'll cost a little bit less money if they're there. Oh, invasions, right. Um, is anybody else in invasion range? Ahem, ahem, just outside, look at that. Isn't invasion range? No, it's not yet a, a research category. I mean, there might be some outside of this area, which I could, um, no, please not the Mediterranean. I just, I can't be bothered. Oh my gosh, oh wait, here we go. Do we have anybody over? Who's over here? Set as invasion target. We'll take it. 
pretty expensive, but um, who is over there? Yeah, yeah, we got some people over there. Let's um, yeah, just put some of them onto active fleet just uh, so that we are somewhat represented. Oh, there we go. We got some foreign lob. Put them on active fleet as well. But no armored cruisers. No. Could change that though. And you know what? I think we ought to. Let's get three of them over there. In fact, no, I'm just send the whole damn class. We have no use for the forces in Western Africa anymore. So show that. Yeah, Northeast Asia. Go all five. It's going to be a little bit tight, dicey for them to make it there. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if this war just ends, then fine. We're, we don't have to worry about it. But hey, we do have a chance to actually invade them. And that is exactly the only opportunity for us to invade beyond what we've already done. Fair enough. Yeah, we're just waiting for the blockade to end. I mean, the, the French to collapse, probably in some kind of revolution. Come on. If I accrued enough points, I can yet spend it to decline. <laughs> Look at where the hell this is. No, I'm, I'm declining that. All right, I'll accept this one. Damn it. Good enough. At least it's closer. Oh no. Well, I like it that it's my battle cruisers. I think our battle cruisers are like not necessarily better than theirs, but at least it makes it a little bit more fun. I am also glad we just um, declined the previous one because we would not have had any escorts. <laughs> I don't think the destroyers would have made it to that one. Now, if we're lucky, we'll end up sinking a whole bunch of armored cruisers. And where are the Austro-Hungarians in this one? I suspect this will be a lot more interesting. All right, let's get you guys to be support role. No, not core support. Let's click like this. Um, we'll go to 18. We'll do that with the battle cruisers as well. Wind is out of the southwest. So we're on the right side. We'll go down to 18. Not sure why you guys were kicking up that quick. You are at 14. Okay, that's fine. And you guys are going to have to do some... Probably some backpedaling pretty quick just to get out of the way. Let's have you guys also go to support the light cruiser. They don't need a screen. They need support. It's uh, two of you. And we can get all of you to... Well, this destroyers can go up to 20. I'm not sure what that... This is, by the way, the perfect number, I think. So these guys are the Gregor Mockenbergers who have... They do have 23 available. We'll go to 18. We'll shift east, uh-huh. Is somebody firing at us? It's pretty quick. Yes. So that might be the big one. But let's bring them back to us. And if they just, I mean, if we just don't end up fighting each other, that's fine. How is that thing already attacking us? It's pretty quick. So we'll go up to 20, you're getting the reports from the lead group that there is contact and they are engaging. So prepare yourself. I don't know how fast we'll end up going. Oh yeah, we're already up to 19, so we'll probably reach 22 by the time they see us. If that is a destroyer, by the way, we do want to maybe take a crack at it with the light cruisers. You guys have 22 in you then. Yeah, they haven't spotted this guy for sure. By the way, nighttime, what are we looking at here? I've got a little, you know, fair amount of time left in the day. Let's have them cut back. I'm not sure what I'm doing here exactly because I still haven't seen the enemy like main ships. I think that's just the scouting force we're looking at. Yeah, they haven't caught us, they haven't seen us yet, but they will soon. Okay, we're probably visible now. And we'll go to squad max. 
just pursue directly. Uh-huh, there's something here. What do we got? Oh, no, oh, no. We got a real fleet. <laughs> Unexpected. This is, I mean, this could be a whole bunch of ships. Not just destroyers, but like, you know, battleships. Um, plus, just having a lot of destroyers there by itself is quite scary. And there we go. Uh, well, they do outgun us, but their armor is preposterous. Six inch armor, eight. So they're gonna have a six, 14 inch broadside versus my six, 13 inch broadside. But we have the armor, not the deck armor though. Do they have that? Yeah, they have the deck armor on us. So if we can get, uh, I mean, I, like in theory, if we could get close and make this a, a belt to belt armor, but uh, you know, if you get close enough, you penetrate more anyway. So I think we just gotta keep it at range and be prepared to get the heck out of here. Plus we have our our light cruisers and you know what, even better, we have our destroyers who are actually in pretty good position with the lead and the tail, you know, the the rear guard and the vanguard. I think that that's in, it's a nice positioning that we can potentially like threaten them. I mean, if they turn, we can be there. Or, you know, probably more importantly, oh my God, Vern Von Merkatz, what is up with you? You are amazing. We just landed almost the entire broadside on the Marseille. And look at that, two of our turrets are grayed out, meaning they are disabled momentarily. Yeah, we'll swing back in. This is, um, when you have that fortuitous of a start, I think you, you, gotta, you gotta push it a little bit. I am so happy to see, by the way, that our ships are performing okay. Let's see what happens. We're in it now. We're, I mean, that was enough, even if they, you know, obviously the enemy can't allow you to hit them, but that did really put the hook in. We are very interested in, in fighting now, whereas before we were a little tentative. And you know, they could just rail me next and we'd have a really bad time. Could happen. I'm gonna go to slightly deviate. Oh yeah, they're coming in. Okay, yeah, there it is. So they're starting to hit now too. Wasn't gonna be a lopsided forever. Still getting in good position though, especially with them basically making a run right at us. What is going on here? Oh, you guys, I don't know what you're doing. Okay, there we are. We're returning the favor again and actually really returning the favor. Good, cool. Uh, so each of our ships are targeting a different one, which means that they know if their shell splashes are you know, near that ship, it's theirs, unless you're really, really inaccurate. You're landing, but you should be landing it, you know, I think we probably straddled these targets. I mean, it's, it, oh, wait. Interesting, we're actually launching torpedoes, which means that I need to be a little bit more cautious as well. A torpedo launches against me. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here. We have one destroyer group who's uh, still obeying orders, so that's good. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I. This is awesome. This is so cool when you get into a... This is truly a straight-up, one-to-one fight that we are just winning. It's so cool. Three more, 13-inch shells. I mean, these must be doing damage, too. I mean, not to mention the fact that they have almost identical tonnage to us. It's like, tw I mean, 23,000, 22,100. Very, very similar. And even our second... Even the Von Mercat's secondaries are doing work. The other Marseille is also getting hit. It's very good. I mean, we're, the more hits we do, the less accurate they'll be as well. Another thing to consider. Okay, so now here we go. We were hit in the belt deck. I'm not sure what this means. It would make sense if we were hit in the deck and then belt. Wait, what kind of armor scheme do we have? I think what happened is we were hit in the belt and it penetrated. And because we have this armor, it's the sloped armor, the deck actually angles down, um, adds a little bit of double protection for the belt in a small area towards the top. If that's the case, our, it penetrated that too anyway. <laughs> the main armor, the thickest part. It went through the 10 inch, it went through the two inch. You know, sometimes I wonder why we even have armor. Because it must have been a, a pretty oblique angle 
which means that the effective thickness of the armor would have been you know, very thick. Uh, anyway, so a near miss on the swine handler. That's better. I mean, this is still one hit. I mean, I, let's actually see what, since we're kind of like letting this one play out at a more detailed pace. This one to me, to me, I don't know, the imagery I have is like of the Bismarck versus the hood. Got like a, a dual duo, a duo duel. And somebody else hit this person. I don't know what's going on. Oh, it's one of my destroyers. I don't have control over them anyway. We are putting down a fair amount of torpedoes. And we haven't moved, so they don't know we've fired yet. But we probably do need to move pretty quickly in order to not get fired upon ourselves. Let's go squad max, which is now 26, which shows you that you know this is starting to take its toll. Let's have these destroyers not launch torpedoes yet. Uh, destroyers are starting to get close. I don't expect any of these will hit. We'll see. Okay, wow. Yeah, this is the same Marseille that we've been... I think that's the one that we've been doing a lot of work against. Because uh, I see the two turrets are just... are disabled. It's... Yeah, it's the top one. So the Swine Handler switched targets? What happened here? You're... Not firing at the same one anymore? That's a little bit weird. I mean, the, I don't think the game would penalize you for switching targets like that, but obviously that would be just a horrible thing to do in the middle of a fight. Hey, um, let's just... I'm fighting, I'm firing at this one. I've dialed in the range, and you've, you're firing at that one. You've dialed in the range. Let's switch targets now. Seems preposterous. Might even almost help us in terms of landing hits, though. So you are... Yeah, you are now landing... We did switch targets. It's a little strange. Not sure what the algorithm is that would decide that, but decide to change, so yeah, that's what they did. Since we're um, doing so well in this fight, I am going to be a little bit more aggressive with pushing my destroyers further towards their, like, well, beyond even their uh, their course, so that we're behind them so they can't pull away. And I don't mind that we didn't hit with destroyers. Hey, this is, this is like a, a fair fight, so to speak. Looks like they've given their destroyers the go-ahead to, you know, force us to disengage. Look at I'm not going to play games. We're we're going to disengage. We're not going to take torpedoes if we can help it. So, are you guys back in the game yet? Yes. Maybe. No, well, the answer is absolutely yes. Not sure what's going on. That why you guys are all split up, but oh well. You're at 29 knots, so you'll be able to close the gap quickly. Okay, another another hit. Not on the one that I thought. So Because this one has slowed down, and I thought, well, basically you can hit targets that don't move as quickly more easily. And I thought that that's basically what was going on here. Okay, this Jaguar, I, I don't know. How much time is this? Now? And what are my light cruisers doing? They're supposed to be preventing this from happening. All right, that, I think they did, to a degree. And Marseille's now going after the light cruisers. That's fine, we'll pull them off. And now we have to, unfortunately, be very aggressive about this if we want to stay in the fight. And we do, because things have gone well so far. Ah, 50 minutes in. But it's worth it. Now it's worth it. Get out of the way. <laughs> all right, all right. What do we have? That's the lead one. I'm surprised. Who's landing? Who's firing at the other Marseille? Let me double check that somebody is firing at the. Good. Is that the percent chance to hit? Maybe. Anyway. <laughs> Doing well, God. Stop. Okay, well, let's review the log. What happened there? Hit with the 13s, hit with the 13s, hit with more 13s. Uh, this was all in the same minute, so we got both of them. Again, I think the Joachim von Merkatz is targeting, I think, the lead now. So the Schweinhandler landing hits means that, I mean, it doesn't matter. Both of them have been hit, which is good to know. Because this one, I think, is in a bad way. It looks like one of their turrets has cleared up from the jam. Oh, not the rear one, though. In fact, the rear one looks like it might have been destroyed. With the new, like, coloring scheme.
be able to rest your cursor on them and have them appear in the bottom, get a better view, but it doesn't look like it's working. Okay, so who are we hitting? Yeah, we're still hitting this one. You gotta think too that all these 13 inch shells, I mean, we've only been hit, we've been hit twice and we already have some damage. We probably hit them at least a dozen times. Make it at least a baker's dozen. Ah, oh, this one has been, it's really being grilled. And all that damage, oh, here comes light cruisers out of nowhere. Um, all that, what, what's your formation? You guys have a formation? Do you know what you're doing? Why are there only three destroyers in this when there's obviously a fourth destroyer? Who? You're not, now you're a four destroyer. Oh, this is third destroyer division. Got it. But why are, oh, don't turn together. Just form a line, ding-dongs. I wasn't even paying attention to all this other stuff. Okay, so it looks like another bizarre hit. I mean, I've never seen that before, and now I've seen it twice in the same battle. It's just bizarre. Still, landed two more hits. Good to know. They are now reporting heavy damage, and their light cruisers are going to be a pain to deal with in terms of getting my destroyers in, but we're going to go for it now. I think it's the magic moment, or so I'm declaring at least. We actually launched a torpedo, which is... Not, not really what we needed to do there. Yeah, this one, we could even... I mean, if this was uh, less decided, if I thought that we weren't already going to win, I could push through the middle of these guys just to angle the, the battlecruiser fleet to break them up, and then we definitely would get one of them. But I think we're, we're going to have an easy time getting all of them. That is the way it looks to me. And who knows, if we're lucky, maybe we don't even lose any ships. Which, you know, since those are 600 ton ships, they don't count anyway, as we know. Okay, Molehouse is coming in. I, and the destroyers, it's very noble, admirable that they're still, you know, chewing at these guys. All right, let's swing in. Gonna launch now. I, I don't think that these will hit, but we're just gonna go for it. Let's put a whole bunch of torpedoes down range and pull back immediately. I'm not even gonna wait for the other destroyer to get a chance. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, hopefully we can do some more damage. Oh, they are turning back. Oh, Ooh. interesting. This is getting to be a pretty long episode. Another 13 inch shell. Still in them. I mean, at this point, I really want to see them under the waves. I've done such a good job with the, the fleet battle. I'd like to capitalize. I know this episode's going long. You guys are out of harm's way. You have to say, their ships are still moving pretty quickly. For the damage I had hoped to have done, it's a little discouraging. Maybe I haven't done as much damage as I, as I thought. Oh, you guys are ignoring orders, okay. Or it might be a sign that uh, they're just running in the red and taking more flooding damage um, as a way to try to just get out. They're just that interested in escaping. Let's prevent you guys from launching. Come on, team. Let's, let's be a team. Can't we be a team? Oh yeah, there we go. But considering we've hit them so many times, I'm still, yeah, very much surprised that one of them hasn't come to a crawl yet. It does look like another counter torpedo 
I mean, uh, Torpedo Assault. We're going to have to close, call this one to a close here. I thought we'd actually be able to get it done, but this has been a fun fight. Let me just go on another. We're just going to, this is going to be a long one. We won't get it out as quickly as I was hoping, but you know what? That's fine. This is, this is a lot of fun. We can handle one longer episode. Maybe even people will enjoy it. Especially because it's going all, it's going all our way. All right, you have returned to the fold. That's nice. Welcome back. This is definitely a torpedo run. It's funny. I mean, twenty knots. If they're back up to twenty knots. It doesn't seem like that we've done it. I think we're gonna have to just redline. Trying to keep up. I doubt, I don't know if their fuel is, I mean, if they're oil burning or coal burning. That's not what I wanted to check. Oh wow, they're way up here too. 26 knots though. Getting a little risky too with the destroyers. We'll have to just play the uh, outside game. I mean, we could just, I think we will just launch some torpedoes here. If they want, we're not in range yet. But um, if they want to try to head north, that'll just be like, I mean, we'll be kind of okay with it. Should have a chance to launch the other one, not the closest, yeah, this one. I don't like launching at low though. Let's just get a little bit, uh, and they turned anyway, which is not surprising. So we just saved our, we saved a little bit of ammunition by not launching on them immediately. But like we're in good position. In fact, I'm gonna have the light cruisers head this way. We're kind of encircling them. <laughs> oh man though, it's uh, this, is, this has gone very well, I'm happy. And we're definitely peeling away at their destroyers as well. And now they're circling back that way, which is also good. Oh, they're actually going full on. Okay, this is probably the moment we commit. But, you know, this could go poorly, so this is probably what we'll call to a video, the video to a close. Are they going, wait, there's one more minute. Yeah, okay, no, they're just going that way, that's fine. So, yeah, we'll have to continue this next time still, because it's almost been an hour in this video. But yeah, very, very happy with the way this has gone, and I'm glad we took this engagement. This is a fun one. Even if we had disengaged, I like these smaller battles. They're much more manageable for me. Anyway, until the next one, thanks for watching. Stay safe and take care.